Because, like, the banana, right, it, like, it needs to uh, decompose a little bit, right? Oh, hey, thank God my fucking turnip came back to life. Fucking Christ. Okay. Alright, well, here's the problem, is that I don't know if it resets to fucking day one, and I need to keep fucking watering it every goddamn day for fucking six days, so. Oh, yeah. Alright, so I brought it back to life. Yesterday, Thursday, so six days from that is Wednesday next week. Okay, that's cool. All right. So here's what I can do, right? As I, I can dig it up and rebury it just to check how big it is. Oh, that's pretty big. My pot. God damn you. Oh, God damn it. Okay. No, we reset. Uh, here, when I flash your back up on screen, go ahead and look. Swap it. You see how tiny that is? Oh. It resets to day one. I don't know if it's going to get any bigger, and I fucking hope it does. Because when it died, it was that was Wednesday, so that's what, three days growth? All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna whip out the fucking watering can and it should be ready to go by Wednesday, so that's fine. How much money do I have in my pocket? Oh, and you know what? I just fucking realized that because Nooks is closed, I don't have anybody to fucking sell my fish to. And these fish are actually worth quite a bit of money. So that's gonna cause a bit of a problem with my inventory. The dinosaurs, I can just leave outside my house and sell them tomorrow because I do plan on live streaming tomorrow. While I'm, you know, waiting for you to come home to work and we can go, go to Tyler's birthday. Oh yeah, tomorrow's Tyler's birthday, guys. Be sure to wish him happy birthday. Which, I'll say that during the live stream and I, I hope Tyler t turn, uh, tunes in. What are you doing <laughs> Patrick, that's sad. Yeah. I don't know. Oh. That does not sound like something SpongeBob would say, honestly. I still remember the episode where they have like a kid, basically. Do you remember that episode? Yeah, I remember that episode. Clam. Yeah, the little clam baby. Yeah. And he's like, let's have a murder. <laughs> Fuck that. Yeah, SpongeBob's just like, what? That's. That's how you know Patrick is not the uh, the most uh, reliable of husbands, really. Oh yeah. I do feel like their uh, gender roles, as far as their marriage air quotes goes, is uh, was pretty spot on, honestly. Wait. What? No, I agree. Oh shit! All right. Well. Oh no, that's not. Eh. All right, fossil, cool. So I have, after today's episode, I'm going to have essentially six fucking fossils. That'd be real nice. Oh, hey, there's something buried right here. I don't know what it is. Ho -ho! Dude, I'm going to fucking roll, quite literally. Oh, shit. Okay, this might be the angelfish. Babe, look. It is, uh, I'm hoping. Yeah. Don't get impatient like last night. Oh, oh gotcha, it's a fucking goldfish. I mean, still worth some money, you know? God fucking damn it. Oh, uh, no. Wouldn't that be under the bug category? I don't know. Yeah, is this something for the bugs? Yeah. Okay, so these palm trees are as far back as I think I could push them. This one right here is definitely gonna fucking deliver some fucking pay dirt for the for the beetles. And then there's you know these guys. This can't go back any further. This can't go back. I I've tried this one a hundred times. This is as far back as I can get that one. Oh yeah, I seem to be getting a lot of. Uh, 
of comments in the comment section asking me what my friend code is for Animal Crossing City Folk. Because the, uh, the Wii standalone by itself didn't exactly have a friend system like the 3DS did. Um, and so in order to hook up with people online in Animal Crossing, um, the game issued you your own unique friend code to your save file, right? And, um, see the problem with that, oops, god damn it. Oh, you know, here, hold on, drop, drop that for a sec. The, the problem with that is that that's also tied to the online features, which unfortunately there is no more online with this game. Uh, right, so, uh, unfortunately I do not have a friend code because online has been shut down and I know I keep getting, you know, lots and lots of comments about that. I appreciate the comments, don't get me wrong. Um, oh god, uh, alright, well, I'm gonna... Oh god, oh, it was too soon, god damn it. I almost had the bees, I was about, I am so gonna get stung, I knew it. Not the bees! Alright. I mean, hey, at the very least, I got the fucking silver membership. As well as the silver fucking tools. I forgot that I fucking, uh, uh, picked out a spot for a new pear tree, because I, uh, I kind of want to update my, uh, my population, uh, bomb that I was building. Oh, yeah. And one of the things that I was going to do to ensure that I never, ever run out of, um, uh, pears, right, was I... Um, back when I was doing the letters, uh, when I was writing letters every goddamn day trying to get, uh, more fruit, um, I knew that if I just kept fucking shaking the trees and, and like, cause like, the shit doesn't grow back, yeah. so you have to like, continually just keep planting it, right? So what I would do is, I would, you know, shake the tree, uh, I would shake the tree, pick up the fruit, Put, like, put two of them in my pocket and replant the one that I just did. And that made me go through a lot of axes. Like, I went through a lot of axes doing that. And, that, and there's nothing wrong with that, you know? But, yeah, no, that's just what I did, you know, for God knows how long. Forever? Come play with us, Danny. We'll be your best friend forever. Right. Oh. Her. Cool. This is how like a matching set. So. Right. Oh, hey, cool. There's the. Do Do you think I should like do it like this? That's. I really like this one. This looks like those fucking rubies from Jimmy Neutron. Like that looks good as a set, right? Yeah. Okay. You know. Well, like one on each wrist. Or you know together you know whatever you want to do. But. All right. Okay, so this was the pear tree that I was gonna tear down, and then you know. Yeah. I was about to say, where's my fucking axe? Up your butt around the corner. What? Oh, you know what? I was. Uh, yeah. Okay, bury this. Cool. All right, pick this up. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that, but I'm just gonna leave it right there. Ru uh, ru what, what if your what? legs didn't know they were legs? Oh, what? What the fuck did you drop? Oh, my sleeve. Oh yeah, that's the sleeve that that card came in, and I. Oh man, if this was smaller, it'd be funny if you just like hid it in a sleeve, and you put it in the thing. You're like, yeah, well, he only really far. needs the. The barcode that's underneath the fucking scratch and sniff, so. That's true. You're like, I got your Yu Gi Oh card. He's like, oh, cool, I picked up. Like? I think Tyler's smart enough to know that I wouldn't do that.
All right. Oh shit. Okay. Oh fuck. God damn it. Okay. So here's all I'm gonna do. Right. Clear out some fucking space in my inventory. Okay. So I got. Basically, after I get all the fruits, I'm gonna put. This is gonna be a, uh, the peach tree. This is gonna be a pear tree. This something I'm gonna replace with an orange if I can get it. This one I'm gonna leave as a regular tree because every time I shake it, I get good shit. Well, not not this time. So I got, you know, and then I think I'm gonna get rid of like I just like all of these trees are gonna be like like one of each tree with the exception of the uh, uh, palm tree for obvious reasons. Oh, I got the cheese one. You got the cheese one's white. Oh, are those the Doritos tacos? Oh, yeah. oh, I have three left. oh shit! All right. Well, if you don't want them, I'll fucking. Oh, dude, there's two for. Huh? There's only three left. So... Uh, I know. I'm just saying, if you don't want them, I will eat them. I know, but I want hearts though. So... All right. Well, then that's your problem. It is my I do like that one fucking Morgan Freeman quote where um, it was uh, it was a screenshot of uh, Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace, where um, it was uh, Morgan Freeman was uh, like I, I don't think it was actually him honestly, but um, it was uh, that scene where um, uh, Anakin was talking with Qui Gon Jinn and he goes. Uh, Qui-Gon, sir, I don't want to be a problem. And then fucking cut to Morgan Freeman. As it would turn out, Anakin would be a very big problem. <laughs> In the fucking typical fucking Morgan Freeman voice. God damn it, dude. I want that on a fucking DVD commentary, man. Oh, yeah, cool. Yeah, all I gotta do is not fuck it up this time. Yeah, I don't listen. Yeah, well, I also think I fucking killed it, too, so. Because the, uh, the video that I saw on the internet that was explaining to me how to, how to do that was he's like, not many people do this, but, you know, you're, you're really supposed to. Um, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to peel the skin off and, uh, you know, just, just, just use your fingernails. And my fucking impatient ass uh, didn't want to fucking use my fingernails because it was taking too long. So you know what I did? I decided to fucking whip out a knife and start fucking, you know. Oh, yeah, that probably killed it. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, no. I 100%. That's probably what happened. There. Yeah. Oh, is it, is it, pr is it pretty? Is it, did, you, did you use a knife to get it out or just scoop it out? I cleaned it. All right. All right. Yeah, James Earl Jones is Darth Vader. What was the what was the name of the dad in Lion King? I remember Scar was Scar of Mufasa. Yeah. yeah, that's also James Earl Jones. I did not know that. Yeah. Simba. Scar, help me! Long live the king. That's my yeah. Also, fun fact: that was fucking Jeremy Irons. The same dude that was the bad guy in Die Hard 3. Spoilers. Wow. Yeah. And then, later, he reformed and started becoming a good guy in movies as opposed to playing the villain. And he was fucking Alfred in the, uh, in the Ben Affleck Batman. Yeah. So he went from being the villain in, like, every movie that he's ever been in to now, you know... That's Alfred's backstory. What? That... Well, I mean, Alfred does have a bit of an accent to him, so yeah, maybe he would. He's a reformed terrorist turned fucking, you know, butler for a billionaire fucking crime fighter. Yeah, he's trying to do better himself. Do better himself. You know what? I want to see that in canon. Like, where's that in the Snyder Cut? The Snyder Cut? Yeah. Well, you know, you know, you know what I'm talking about the Snyder Cut with yeah, Batman, people right? Didn't people like that. What? Didn't people like really like that? Yeah. Because the other version that they did fucking sucked. And then Zack Snyder is like, 
I'm gonna I'm gonna recut the film, and all, and he also filmed like a couple of new scenes to insert them into the movie at like key choices, and I was like, they also went over with like fucking shaders to like make it like you know you know a little bit better, you know I was like, parts that need what? The one? No, oh, wait. the live action I think I can't remember if it was Justice League or Batman versus Superman. Zack Snyder? No, Zack Snyder doesn't do animated. He does live action. Zack Snyder, for the longest time, was the comic book guy. You know, you wanted to do a comic book movie, fucking have him do it. Interesting. I don't remember off the top of my head, but I think he was the guy that did Watchmen. I think. Oh, shit. I don't know if this is fake or not, because I don't know if I have it. The scary painting. I think I bought a fake one of these. Hold on. Oh, that's the wrong fucking... Yeah, no, I think I bought a fake one. And if it's not on my list, then I, I can't tell if it's real or not. If it is on my list, then that means I already have the real one. And there's only ever one real one, so... My little real one. That was a massive fucking stretch. <laughs> I was really hoping you, I would get a reaction out of you. Cause you've been fucking doing that all goddamn day. What, laughing or not laughing? No, the little windmill thing. I have. Yeah. I will not deny that. Okay, so the paintings that we do have are you the base. What? Not to derail your thoughts, but you know what I want to do now? What? Open a mini golf course, and the final one is gonna be a windmill. I'm gonna call my my little windmill. All right. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna By okay, so the paintings that we do have, for a fact, are the basic, nice, moody. Dynamic, amazing, and fine. So... Also, he has an arcade machine that I really want. How much? The tabletop. Okay. Uh, this is the first in a series of Crazy Red's originals. Uh, oh, what? It's, it's available here today only and only today. Wow. It's crazy for $5,000. You know what? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to go to the ATM because I can't pay for it, dude. Shut the fuck up. I'm going to go to the ATM. All right, think what? Think All right, cool. I'll go ahead and spray some shit. Here, I'm gonna go hit the ATM. I'm gonna withdraw a shit ton of money. Withdrawal, please. He said it's five grand, so... You know, alright, fuck this. I'm gonna have the fucking patient. I am so glad there's an ATM here. I think they put that ATM there just for Crazy Red. Like, oh, I got all the way to the city and only to find out that I don't have enough money to buy Crazy Red shit. Alright, gimme. Don't tell me he's gonna give me another fucking invitation. He gives me an invitation once a week and I always throw it in the garbage. I think he's gonna keep giving me invitations until we have all four player characters with invitations. I think. Because I think that's the reason why he gives them to me is because... Also, we don't have the four player characters. We have just the one. And if I give it to an NPC, they're gonna be like, I don't want it. Okay, then shut the fuck up. At least I got rid of it until next week. Until next week. No, he gives me one every week. You know? Like, just get the hint, man. Yeah, dude. Like, look, if I had another player character, fine. You know? <laughs> Baby, you is fine. <laughs> Fucking Christ, dude. My fucking favorite Valentine's meme was... And this actually became a legit thing. So I think people actually put this into production. So, um, you know how, like, they have those fucking, like, you know, teddy bears that, like, they're holding a little heart in their lap and it fucking says something on it, right? Yeah. And it's like, I think it was a meme on Facebook for a while. And then somebody actually started making these and they fucking sold out within, like, you know, <laughs> right? And the fucking, the bear said, shit, bitch, you is fine. You is fine. 
And then they started fucking, you like, you know those little fucking chalk pieces of candy? Yeah. They started putting them on those. That's amazing. Yeah. I love those candies. Yeah. Shit, bitch, you is fine. I'm the only person I know that actually likes those candies. <laughs> Shit, bitch, you is fine. Oh, God damn it. I'm gonna fucking cry, honestly. That's fucking funny. I don't care who you are, that's fucking funny. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, man. My face legitimately hurts from fucking smiling so hard. And also the time I walked into a door at night. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You weren't there for that, but I was fucking livid. I was fucking swearing up a storm. Like, kind of like how I am now, but worse. I can, I can hear a fucking mole cricket. Oh, Gaston's gone. All right, well. I, I know. Well, I mean, I want to be at max capacity with my villagers, you know? I was like, all these little fucking signs could be a potential vill villager. I need to focus on getting more people and also keeping the people that I currently have. Yeah. A candy. What? A candy. Yeah. Oh, that's a new horizon. She's a new horizons, though. Shit. Oh, yeah. Fuck. Okay, so if we want her to stay, we gotta, you know, play new horizons. All right. So, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and save the painting for last. I'm just gonna redeem these fossils. Check these fossils, please. Wait, you don't have candy in uh, this game, do you? No. Okay, wait, oh. I don't think I have any of my villagers that I do now. I thought you did. No. I remember I used to have uh, Teddy. Yeah, oh yeah. No, wait, no, who was it? Fuck, how did I forget? No, it's Teddy, I thought I don't remember. Oh, the shark tooth, okay. <laughs> You know, speaking of the shark tooth, I was thinking about this in the car on my way home, because, like, this is the kind of fucking loser that I am. I fucking... You're not a loser. I think about this kind of shit on the way home, right? Where it's just like... Um, there was that line in Blade 3, uh, by Ryan Reynolds, spoilers, where they were talking about Dracula and how he's, like, the ultimate killing machine. And he said, um... The story of Dracula goes back farther than Bram Stoker, where it's just like, he was like, you know, like ancient, right? And just like the great white shark, this guy has never had to evolve. And I thought about it. I'm like, you mean to tell me in the millions and millions of years of, you know, history, the great white shark has never like had like a very slight, like, even if it's like subtle modification, oh, right? Yeah. Right, so like, you know, like, you think about like, you know, Darwinism in the Galapagos, right? Where like, you know, on the on the different Galapagos islands, they had like, it was the exact same fucking bird, the exact same fucking turtle, right? But they were just- living in the perfect environment. Right. So, the exact same, the exact same bird, the exact same turtle, they, but they were just ever so slightly different, right? Mm -hmm. Are you and eat this cheese? yes, so it would stand to reason that over millions and millions and millions of years, even if it's a very subtle change, you know, like their fucking eyesight or their sense of smell, something had to have fucking evolved on the shark in the several million years, you know, like goddamn, dude. Yeah. I feel like I need to get high for this conversation, <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> fucking Christ, dude. Little Christ mill. <laughs> My little Christ mill. Oh, yeah, no, totally. God fucking damn it. Ugh. Alright. Last but not least, let's get that fucking painting. What shall you donate? I'm all in suspense. Alright, moment of truth. Babe, do you wanna do you wanna do the I'm gonna I'm gonna close my eyes. What am I doing? The painting. All right, hit donate. All right, wait. I can't. Right from here. Oh, fucking shit! It's legit. Hey. Oh shit. Cool. That's why I didn't want to. That's why I didn't want to. That's why I didn't want to look. Cause I didn't want to. I didn't want to see the look on his face. He's like, this is fake. I'm like, yeah, no shit. He's like, I bought. I bought it off fucking crazy red. What do you think? My. Oh, here it is. It's a, it's a little, it's, what? That's a very good question, I have no idea. 
It was, uh, I, uh, I think it was in with the, uh, fuck, I don't know. It's a, it, here, I'm gonna go ahead and take a fucking screenshot of this. Um. Dude, cool, we got a fucking painting. I mean, hey, you know, we're getting at least one per month, so. But I didn't start getting the paintings until fucking, you know, March. Or no, was it March or was it February? Oh shit, no, it was the very end of January and I got two of them, okay? So we're averaging out at least one per month, at least one, okay? That's 25% success rate. Oh, that was for the, uh, um, marinade for the chicken. Oh. Oh, do you want to marinate this? No, well, no, we already have the seasoning, so. Marinate what? Let's go get the microwave. Oh, the glass one? I always put it in the same spot next to the microwave. Next to the microwave. Why are you putting it up there? Because that's where I fucking thought it goes. No. 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 Ah. Uh, I am super fucking proud here. I'm Kermit Kerm 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 the Frog here. Yeah, I'm voiced by Ray Romano. I would like to formally say, fuck your shit. <laughs> Okay, so I have three spare uh, uh, coconuts to fuck around with. Nope. There, there goes the baby. Oh yeah, no, totally. So, being that I have three to mess around with, what are three of my palm trees that I could possibly move? I mean, if I really, really wanted to, I think I can move this one back one, honestly. Oh, shit. You see this one right here in front of Chester's house? If I really, really wanted to, also, if I do, when I, when I chop this one down, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get. Okay, all right, here, all right, fuck this. I'm gonna go ahead, judgment call. I'm gonna do it. Oh, no, wait. God, fuck. Uh, there we go. All right. All right. And then we're going to go ahead and chop, chop, chop. All right. So look at, look at this. Do you think it, do you think it's too close to his house? It's already too late. I already fucking chopped it down. Um, I have coconuts to spare. Yes. If it just dies, then I can just fucking replant it one space up and it'll come back. I have until June. You know, I. Why did you put all your coconut trees like right next to each other in the line? Huh? Why did you put all your coconut trees in the line next to each other in the feet? How can you not do that? Or you not want to do that? Well, it's not like New Horizons where I can just pick them up. I know, but when you replant them, I mean. What do you mean? When you replant the coconuts. Because you replanted the coconuts. You can plant them anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't you plant them together? That's what I'm doing. Okay. Wait, no, I'm failing to understand. What do you want me to do? I don't know. I don't think, I don't think we're on the same page. I don't know how to understand it. Well, I guess the real question is, are we reading the same book? Probably not. You're reading Lord of the Rings. I'm reading Harry Potter. All right, well. And we're both talking about girl <laughs> Well, I mean, you know, Sir Ian McKellen was, you know, some big... No, wait, no, I'm thinking about... Wait, I'm thinking about Sir Patrick Stewart. I fucking love Sir Patrick Stewart. He's fucking great. Didn't didn't Ian McKellen uh fucking uh wasn't he the guy that fucking married uh Sir Patrick Stewart and his wife? Cause I was uh, I was I was watching an interview with Sir Patrick Stewart and he uh I think I think he said in the interview that um uh, Ian McKellen, uh, officiated the wedding, I think. Oh. Either that here or he, he was in attendance at the wedding. I don't remember. He's like, shout out to Patrick Stewart getting fucking married. You know, it's like that dude, that dude deserves to be happy. Oh, 
you know, fucking, you know, Picard Jr., you know. Honestly, you know, I kind of agree with a lot of nerds where like they can't they they can't agree whether or not they like per, uh, Kirk better or Picard. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what I was thinking. And like, I quite honestly, legitimately, I can't fucking pick between Kirk or Picard. You know, I think I like them both equally, and I know that's really like controversial amongst like fucking Star Trek nerds. God fucking damn it. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna go about I'm gonna go about this very smart. Just like Kmart. 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 Okay, listen. Uh, oh it is? Oh, you know what I could do? Hold on, hit that right there. All right. Oh shit. What? I forgot Sunday is on Wednesday. Yeah? No. Oh, that fucking plan that I told you about? Yeah. All right, um. Yeah, so I mean, hey, I'll have more money. Yeah, we do. Tyler's birthday, you know. It's two, remember? The, um, thing. Oh, it's your parents? Mm -hmm. Fuck. Well, I mean, at the very least, you know, I'll get my fucking, you know, turnips. Ice, ice, baby. I like how all I'm doing is just fucking around with palm trees. Okay, so do you see what I did here? Is I uh, I spaced these out uh, accordingly. So like, check it out. If if a fucking beetle does spawn here, what you're supposed to do is like, the reason why I want to push them as fucking far back as possible is so I can get like, you know, a walking thing on the on the on the beetles. And, um, so this one right here, the reason why I'm so happy that it's so far back is because, like, I have all of this fucking- Oh, Jesus Christ. What the fuck are you? Do you see that? Holy shit. Alright, hold on. I know you said dinner's ready, but hold on. Honey, dinner's ready. I know. I know. I'm gonna go. My people are calling. I need a bigger boat. My people need me. I need a bigger boat. God damn it. Oh, all that for a fucking sea bass. All right, fuck this. I mean, hey, I got the fucking painting, so uh, that's progress towards the fucking progression bar. Oh, watch this be the fucking, you know, knife jaw. I know I say that every week or every every episode. What? No, I don't. I think the shadow size is that big. And so here's the problem, right? Is that this thing bites really quick and I have to be fucking light. Oh, God damn it. I have to be lightning fucking quick with that. God damn it. Buy a boat. Eat your oats. God, did you, did you see that? Build on boat. Dig on boat. No, I didn't actually. You didn't see it? Oh, okay. Well, wait. Okay, I think. God damn it. I mean, I'll know if I reel it in, you know. I was about to say that I know for a fact that's not it because I took too long to reel it in. You took too long. Now you're okay with yourself. Hmm? Alright. I love that I like make references and you don't get them because they're from something you don't know. Oh shit, there's a balloon. A bad one. <laughs>
the fuck is that? A blue fucking... Alright. Uh, basically, I did all I can do, and I... Okay, so I, I planted a new palm tree. I planted a new palm tree. I planted uh, a new uh, pear tree. I got the painting. I did not get the angelfish. Uh, I did really in that goldfish. That's fucking cool. You know? Alright. I got my money rock. Got my daily logins. I got my fucking... Alright. I also have a pair left over, too, that I could really do, you know, whatever I want with. What? Uh, up my bum, my bum cheese. That's very popular in the, you know, UK bum cheese. All right, enough, enough making fun of the UK. All right, I'm, uh, <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, they're the ones that talk like that, you know, like, oh, in my bum. But like, all right, so my name is been Jason Fisher. We'll see you guys next time. Like, comment, subscribe. And we'll see you guys bright and early for, you know, tomorrow's exciting episode of Animal Crossing City Folk. And, uh, yeah, we're going to get some shit done. And uh, hopefully we're going to get the diving beetle, the pond skeeter, um, the angelfish. Those are the three things that I want to do. And the knife jaw, which we still haven't fucking got in two goddamn months. <laughs> About to be three months. Wait, when does it go away? Uh, November, so. Okay. I don't want to get too comfortable. I just want to get it done so I don't oh, have yeah. to, you know. I, yo, that one fish, I'm telling you right now, you watch back the footage, that was it, but I didn't get it. Because we'll they bite really quick, and you have to be fucking, like, lightning fast on the fucking button, you know, and I didn't do it. One that yeah, shh, fucking Christ. Um, I didn't reel it in, but there was, a, there was a, a, another tiny fish that I thought could have been the angelfish, but I... Got really impatient. I reeled it in way too quick before it ever bit, and then like it obviously when you do that, it runs away. So yeah. that one also got away. We'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Girl Scout. Girl Scout.